So I am in Vietnam in Katba Island, one of three beaches that you could walk down to. Uh, I am actually above Katba Beach 3 and 2 is going that way. They're all beautiful, but uh, I found some stairs behind the beaches and I found this awesome spot. Anyway, so we have some more Q&A and uh, the first one is how do you plan a budget? And honestly, I really don't have a budget and it's mostly because I feel like I'm pretty good at um, watching my spending in the moment and making those decisions happen uh, right then and there. I'm really simple and I don't really need much. I'm pretty frugal. Um, and I know my budget for the most part has been under control or at least with most of the money flowing towards the excursions and the activities which is where I wanted it to be. Um, not so much the accommodation and, and, and the fancy foods all the time. Um, I will say, however, though, my bank account is laughing at me a little bit right now, and I currently want to go to more expensive countries, so I am working on a daily budget right now. And I will let you know, I guess, what that is when it happens. Is it clear? Okay. How much do you recommend saving? Um, it really depends on your style of travel. If you are, like I said, pretty simple and frugal and you're not a huge um, daily drinker and you stick mostly to street food and budget transportation and accommodation, then I could say easily for two weeks in Asia you could pay like $360 and that's way more than I have paid, way more, but that is for your typical two week vacation including a couple nights of partying, um, like three or four major excursions and accommodations and all that fun stuff. It does not include the flight. The flight's going to be anywhere from $1,200 to $1,400 going to Asia, but remember that everything else there is going to be super, super, super cheap. Uh, now Europe you could expect to pay same budget style traveling maybe even a little over uh, about eight hundred and twenty five dollars for a two weeks typical two week uh, vacation the flight is going to be less the flight is going to be somewhere between like six hundred to maybe a thousand I think yeah pretty much right around there um, so that's what you're really looking at to save. I mean, the more you save, the more you get to do, but it could be done with, with very little money. You can make it happen. Another question is, how much money do you need to do a full year of traveling? I hate to sound like a broken record, but I have to again say and stress that it really depends on the type of traveler you are. Um, the countries that you choose to go to, like I was saying, Europe and Asia, it's going to be a huge difference it's, uh, as far as how much money you're going to spend and if you choose to travel alone or not. But let's just go ahead and throw it out there and say that you could do all continents, not every country in every continent, um, skipping around for between 15k to 17k for a full year of traveling um, without a problem okay so like you wanted to know using my travel for an example I definitely would have been able to go under that amount if I would have traveled alone and not met up my friends uh, from the states but I don't regret that because we had an amazing time and amazing uh, than amazing activities that you can't really do with other people. Um, so, but if I would have done that alone, stayed alone the whole time, if I would have not lingered so long in Europe, I stayed about three months in Europe, then it, it would have been able to happen for less. Um, and if you think about it, what we pay at home for mortgage or rent or monthly bills, cell phone, car loan, doing the math, Sometimes you're paying a lot more at home than you would pay on the road, traveling. 
And that's all great and everything, but it's not that great when you don't have an income at all while you're traveling. Um, so that is what I would say you could do a full year of jumping around. Uh, some people just stick to a full year in Asia, especially Southeast Asia, and they just forget all the super awesome expensive countries. But you gotta start somewhere, right? Okay, so another question was, do you shop for clothes and then gifts afterwards? So my plan was to bring all my uh, clothes that was on the verge of needing to get thrown out uh, because this trip was only supposed to be three months aside from some very durable pants yoga pants durable sneakers and a, like a really nice durable jacket and then at the end of my trip when it's all worn down uh, throw it away or if it's still in good enough shape to donate I was just gonna donate it and then buy new cool clothes and souvenirs and gifts at the very end of my trip along with um, just some things I always I always like to bring things from different countries and resell them at home on eBay or what have you so I won't be able to do that as much this time but definitely at the end of my trip all right switched up the location just a little bit uh, we are actually on the beach right now and I have some just having fun behind me uh, but it is Katma Beach number two number two in case you guys are wondering anyway so one question is from my silly little friend Connie Valentino and she asked me are you washing your clothes in the river and no Connie I am not but um Many countries do, and uh, several wash by hand and buckets at home. What I do is I wear my pants and my tops several times, um, and then when I uh, do decide to wash, first of all, I take a pair of underwear and a pair of socks in every single day to the shower when I shower. off for a minute because we have yelling banshees going crazy uh, on my video so hopefully they but um <laughs> so like I said take them every day to the shower and wash them there and then uh, there's still some screaming going on and then what I do uh, when I do decide to wash in my sink I disinfect my sink and I hang my clothes and my undies and my socks and my shirts decorating my dorm bed like it's Christmas um, but I, when I don't have the room or the ventilation or even room to hang outside I um, I can't tell what the screaming I uh, get my laundry done so you can get laundry done for between a dollar to six dollars for a full load and it's different in different countries how they do it so I've had hand wash hang dry, machine wash, hang dry, machine wash, machine dry, um, laundry, self-service. So, that's screaming. Um, so it's different in every country and um, so basically, honey, I'm no, not washing them in the river, but what I am doing is I'm waiting to get home because you and I are going to take a little trip to Lake Eola and we are going to rent the swans and we're just going to bring all of our laundry and we're going to have like a, a washing party in the lake and just see how long it takes before we get kicked out. That's it about the laundry. 